Hi, this is Bob Brown and welcome to my video. This is uh, part of the series on the Standing Rock Sioux. And this is really not a, this is actually a question to the people of Standing Rock, to um, the Lakota Sioux. This is a question I have for you, you all. Specifically, uh, I'm very interested in what, what I've done studies for in business is what's called ante anticipatory alert response, anticipatory alert response. That's a fancy academic way of dancing around not having to say extrasensory perception or psychic phenomena because we all know it doesn't exist, right? Well, in fact, studies show that there is a phenomena that's called anticipatory alert response where animals, people have been able to detect an event. It's very short term into the future, but they are able to detect uh, a potential disaster and avoid it. The classic case on this is the study that happened during the demolition or the explosion or immolation, uh, the uh, implosion, sorry, the implosion of buildings. They would put cameras on it for legal purposes to make sure that there no, uh, no other people's property were damaged during the implosion. And the phenomenon was noticed that about two to three seconds before detonation that all the pigeons would fly out of the building. Two to three seconds before detonation all the pigeons would fly out of the building. And so this led people to start studying this, this odd phenomenon of how animals are able to see slightly, potentially slightly, into the future. So my question is to the, the medicine people, to the religious people, to the spiritual leadership of the, of the, the Standing Rock people is have they had any indication of extrasensory perception, uh, of, of being able to detect that there could be a pipeline failure or there's something going wrong. The reason I, I asked this question is because the, 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 the Dakota Sioux, the Standing Rock Sioux uh, described the pipeline as the black snake. So that seems that that's something out of the dream vision or the dream quest or the dream time of the Native American uh, tradition of having the ability to step into another world or to a high, higher state of consciousness. Uh, 20 years ago, people wouldn't talk about this. Now there's people are talking about this because they're seeing the, uh, this phenomenon in real life. I've done some research, very small. Uh, I've done some experimental uh, trial balloons in the area of anticipatory alert response, or ESP. And it's interesting. The majority of people will admit that their pets, their dog, their cat, um, their, their you know, parrot, or whatever... Uh, animal they have, especially dogs and cats, they will, horses occasionally, that these animals will always know when they're coming home. And when I did a survey and used Survey Monkey, almost 80% of the respondents that I sent out said that they believed that their animals had some form of extrasensory perception or anticipatory alert response. Like somehow the dog or the cat knew I was coming home, even though I'd been out of town for two weeks or I'd I'd flown to a, a business meeting in London or wherever I was at. When it came to human beings, it was, it was, it was inverse. It was like only 20% of the people believed that human beings had any form of extrasensory perception. I think that's just a perversity of human nature. That It's just that innate uh, jealousy we have of each other. You know, like, well, he doesn't, he doesn't have any special powers. And I, I have no special powers. I have no psychic ability. Um, although I have witnessed people that I believe have some type of uh, gifted insight, um, for sure, for sure gifted insight. Um, and maybe they're just great psychologists, maybe they just can figure things out, but I think something, there's something more to that. So the question I have is, have, to the Standing Rock people, have people had uh, uh, dreams or visions or have they had feelings that something would happen? And that would be very interesting because as a business person, I've been studying this phenomenon really for stock trading, for, for guidance in business, because in some cultures, um, specifically the Asian cultures, China, Tibet, and even in West Africa I've studied, where a, a, a shamanistic tradition of when you start a business of going to the Buddhist priest or going to in uh, Benin, Africa, in West Africa near Nigeria, uh, they'll go to the Vudan or the Voodoo um, people, and they'll act, and these people in Benin, in Benin, Africa, will actually come and sit at the business meeting during a merger. 
So this is so in the West, this may be an alien idea, but in many parts of the world, uh, auspicious days, astrology, uh, bringing people in that can give you a, a, an edge and hidden insight, although it, it may fly in the face of science, we're not we're talking more of a, a of human intuition of how to uh, how to access human intuition. I believe that these systems I just described are really ways of accessing yet as little understood uh, phenomena in the mind which I will call uh, intuition or deep intuition. Uh, a lot of business people have it. Uh, they have the ability to somehow detect a good deal or detect a bad deal. So you, you see that. Um, Howard Schultz of Starbucks, who's I think he's stepping down today from Starbucks, he seemed to be one of those people that had gifted insights. Uh, Sir Richard Branson of Virgin Airlines is another example of a person that just has that gifted insight. Elon Musk, I mean, Elon Musk is a genius. I mean, that how he's able to do what he does is, is a fa fa fabulous study in itself. But back to the point, it'd be interesting to hear uh, the medicine people, the... Uh, you know, people who have participated in the ghost dance, if they have had visions of, of, of any type of danger this pipeline has. And also it'd be interesting if they have any visions of what should be done. If they've had a vision quest or they've had a vision or they've had an intuition or a flash of insight or they've, they dreamt of a, re of a relative that told them something. This would be a really fascinating study because as I said, anticipatory alert response, although still it's still in the world of pseudoscience or pseudo-nonsense, I'm sure some people call it, I'm convinced that there is something there in the, in the human mind, the structure of the human mind that we don't understand, that allows these un abilities to see potential realities or future realities that are, are starting to sh formulate and shape and coalesce into existence. And this isn't the time and place to get into uh, free will versus determinism versus soft determinism versus hard determinism. But it would be interesting to have people share their dreams, thoughts, visions of what they saw about the black snake. And it would be fascinating to record that because the reason I study, study this and want to get the information from people is for multifold. One, it's to prevent future disasters. If people do have this gifted insight and they're able to focus it, and I don't think I have any gifted insight. I don't have any, as you can tell, I have no gifts at all. But if, if they could hone that, it could prevent potential disasters like the deep water horizon or the coast of Concordia that capsized and killed people or many of the myriad of business, disa uh, business disasters. I, my, my gut tells me, my instinct tells me that the Lakota, the Standing Rock people have picked up on something with this symbolism of the black snake and they haven't, maybe they just don't, maybe they don't want to tell outsiders, maybe they don't want to tell uh, people, maybe they want to be private about it and that's their business. But I think that would be a fascinating part of this discussion if they could say, we saw this and then as business leaders we could learn and say, well, let's just take a hypothesis and say it's true. Maybe this, just for once, let's just put it on the table and say, these people have this vision of this disaster. Well, let's scientifically investigate and see if this could occur. I think we're going to need more and more of this type of understanding of anticipatory alert response, extra sense of per perception, gifted insight, uh, clairvoyance, clairaudience. Uh, I know it's still pseudoscience now, but it may not be later. Because as, as I said, most people will say they don't agree with anything I just said. But when it comes to their pet, their dog or their cat, the majority of people, I believe, will say the very opposite. They'll say, well, my dog does know when I'm coming home. My dog no knows when I'm not feeling well. Many cases have been shown where dogs and cats have detected cancer in the body. Or, you know, there are many dogs now trained to detect a person who's going into insulin shock because of the hypersensitive nose that dogs have. So I think this is an area of study and, it, and the culture of the Standing Rock people is very unique and it may have given them a gifted insight that 
my culture, maybe it had it a thousand years ago, maybe it lost it, maybe it never had it, but it's pr that contained within the Standing Rock people, there may be the culture, it could be genetic as well, I, I don't know, has given them a gifted insight and maybe they're, that is the source of this concern. It would be fascinating if people say, well, we saw this issue emerging. If we recorded that, and if the issue, and if, and if people study that and say, you know what, they were right, we found this anomaly in our, in our equipment, that would be a fascinating uh, uh, study. So once again, if you have any comments, please leave them. Please make your own videos if you've had this vision, if you're at part of the Standing Rock uh, uh, movement. It'd be fascinating to hear your story. It'd be fascinating, I think, for the business leaders around the world to hear this from indigenous people who have this insight. My experience with the Tibetans has shown me that they do have extremely gifted insight. My experience with the Benin uh, people of Africa, they have an insight that their culture gives them, that it shapes their mind a certain way that they have an insight that I just don't have. And I would really be fascinating to hear your story. Thank you. This has been Bob Brown, and thank you for watching my YouTube channel.